left off, I found a pile of rocks and a chest. I can't remember what else. Awesome. the key that unlocks the door leading to the machine room. Right. So the key should be around here in this little thing. I'm so reckless. Very beautiful. That was it. Skulls are oh, you again. Reginald. How are you? Ah, wonderful. Have you seen Django Unchained? It's it's quite a spectacular piece. Oh, beautiful music again. Ah, reaches into my soul. Ah, I shall just stand here. Has arrived. I repeat, the party has arrived. Good attempt, good attempt. Second of July, eighteen thirty-nine. I received a letter today from the Algerian governor's office disclosing the fate of Herbert's expedition. About a week after my departure, Abdullah. One of the men traveling with us returned from the desert. He was badly injured, as if maimed by a lion. The man 
ramble deliriously about the expedition being attacked by something horrible. The French quickly dispatched a search party to look for the expedition. After searching for days, they found the camp abandoned without any trace of Herbert or his men. Good Lord. Tomorrow, I'll retrieve the things they recovered from Herbert's tent at the customs house. I don't know what to make of it, but I'm worried for him. So am I, so am I. It just seems horrible. Move, please, thank you. It just seems absolutely dreadful. Ah! <coughs> la da 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 Whatever it is. Is that oil? <coughs> My brute force does not seem to open it. More paint. 3rd of July, 1839. Today I picked up Herbert's things at the customs house. I dug through the trove of documents he had carried and found a log detailing the expedition. The nature of this text ranged from quick notes to colourful accounts of transpired events. I skimmed the pages, trying to figure out what might have happened. May 17th, the day I was trapped inside the orb chamber, Herbert dryly states, recovered Daniel after one hour of entrapment. This confused me greatly. I was suffocating within minutes. How could I have lasted an hour? Magic. I continued reading the peculiar text. Herbert states his facts without judgment or passion, but suddenly I could read frustration into his text. Oh, no. He pushed his men to investigate the underground tomb, an effort which seems to have strained the minds of his men. Good Madness God. spread through the ranks, Madness. and Herbert had to take some extreme measures to continue. He finally visits the chamber himself, where he retrieves the orb to the surface. His account confuses me greatly. If he has the orb, what are those pieces in my drawing room? <gasps> Madness. Can't really say I know myself. I bother them. What are these moldy potatoes? They look like moldy potatoes. Get in there, that'll be a surprise for anyone. Ha ha ha. White shirts. They haven't even been ironed. Oh. Disgraceful. Out of oil, right? Well, I say. This has been quite an adventure, hasn't it? Let's open this shit up. Dingus? Why you gotta be a dingus, dingus? <laughs> hiding. Oh. That was hiding. But it could have just opened it. See, it's smart. Why can't you just smash through this and find me anyway? Either way, I'm. Quite well and truly buggered. That's not very good. Got to say. 
say it does have a very nice booty. Ah, it's gone. Ah. Well. Well. That was definitely something. More paper. 4th of July, 1839. It's done! The orb is assembled. I was awakened by an exhausting nightmare. Shaking and sweating, I retired to the drawing room with a cup of tea. The relic pieces lay spread across the table as I'd left them, but somehow I knew how it was supposed to be. I fetched the tar, which I had prepared to fix the pieces together, and without fault I joined them, producing the orb I remembered so clearly. The tar proved unnecessary, it was pushed out from the joining pieces as they merged on their own, with oh, no adhesive. Lord. The ancient stone relic now rests on my table. Its immaculate surface and perfect shape could have been moulded by a factory. This is all too strange. I just don't understand anymore. What am I doing in this castle? What? Oh. Thank God, there it is. I guess it is a good place to hide it then. Got to be sure. I didn't even. My reckless behavior has saved my life. Well, I suppose that will be it for today. If you liked, give it a like. If you like more, give it a cheeky subscribe. Good day, good day, good day, good day.